Welcome back to the channel guys. I hope everyone's having a great day and a happy Easter to all those celebrating. So today is Easter and what I'm going to go do and treat myself is to go get a full tank of E85. As you guys can see here on the gas gauge in the bottom right hand corner, I am almost empty and that was a tank of 93. So we're going to be driving and we're going to burn off the rest of this 93 to have a full tank of E85. So I will see you guys at the gas station. So y'all, we got E85 getting pumped into the car currently. So, and it's very cheap compared to other gas. It's only a dollar and 59 cents compared to premium, which is about $2 and 40 cents. So some good savings right there. And I actually did the math of the MPG that I'm getting with E85 versus 93. And I'm paying about one cent per mile extra for running E85, which means it's really not even measurable and secondly uh it just pays off it almost equates like it's it almost equals it out so it's not like you're wasting money using e85 if anything it's just better because it burns cleaner cooler and you get more power out of it so it's all pluses from here so y'all we just filled all the way up tank for $27.91. So 17 and a half gallons. So compare that to premium, I guarantee you'd be paying a little bit more, probably around $35. So not a bad price difference. It's really worth it and you get a lot of power from it. So I'll show you guys some acceleration runs in a second. So as y'all can see, I just filled up, we got a full tank and I'm going to show you all the E85 ratio on the AutoCal that you get if you're tuned by Overcome Motorsports and it's showing an E85 ratio of 70.2%. So that's what we have. There could have been a little bit of 93 left in the tank or it's just a bad blend from the racetrack that I went to to get the fuel. So overall though it's still e70 might not be e85 but it's better than nothing it's the cheap man's e85 from here instead of going to ignite and getting some really expensive e85 gas since it's raining i'm not going to get any traction in second gear or first so i'll do a third gear pull for y'all in a second all right y'all we're gonna go to fifth then fourth i'm gonna go to third real quick and here goes nothing going over the e85 uh, difference like versus 93 uh things that i could know the car is way more responsive on an na setup you're not going to get that much gains it's not like you're going to get like 50 wheel out of it as you would if you were boosted with a twin turbo or a supercharger setup if you were boosted you would see a lot more gains out of the e85 however being in a, it's just one of those extra things for like a couple hundred bucks that you could do to make your car that much better. So I highly recommend it. And it is a flex fuel sensor. So it's not like you get an E85 tune and you have to keep switching tunes between 93 and E85. And then you're like, oh my God, I'm out of E85. There's no more stations. What am I gonna do? So this flex fuel sensor allows you just to fill up. Whenever you fills up, the sensor will determine uh, like to pull timing here to do this it'll adjust the tuning based on what grade fuel that you were putting into the car so there's no need to worry about that um more pros about the 85 it burns cooler burns cleaner um anything and also the kit comes with stainless steel fuel lines so it's not gonna corrode i mean not corrode it's not gonna burn through and eat up the um the stock fuel lines that comes with the car so Overall, I can't really think about any cons about getting E85 on these cars, on the LFX motors. Um, I would just really go for it. It's a good it's a good addition onto your vehicle. I would say you probably get around eight to 10 wheel out of E85. It's not that much of a difference, but you can really tell the mid-range and top end, to, uh, and the mid-range torque and the top end on these cars when you put E85 in the car. And it's not just a, psychological thing like oh i'm putting 85 in the car my car is going to be faster now no that's not the case it really is i've i've gone through 93 and 85 several times and i can really tell the difference that 85 gives you so 
I would really recommend this. Um, if you guys would like to purchase the Flex Fuel kit, I would go on uh, Overkill. It's getoverkill.com and it's under the LFX products. So I would highly recommend it. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions of the 85 kit, uh, please comment them down below and I'll gladly answer them for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.